We're talking about the nonprofit Community Through Hope. They started five years ago, but since then they've been overwhelmed because of the lack of wraparound services in the South Bay. Now they're preparing for a possible influx of unsheltered people. Frederick is a Chula Vista resident struggling with homelessness. He says he's tried to get into a shelter, but he's been met with hurdles. He says crowded shelters and limited resources have been a problem. It's why Frederick is one of dozens of homeless people visiting the office of Community Through Hope. That's when you hear where people are service resistant. It's really that the services are not taking into account the trauma that someone has experienced by even being unsheltered. Rosie Vasquez, the CEO of the nonprofit, says county and city policies are failing to address the crisis. They now have concern about recent encampment bans being passed in San Diego and Poway. We're already seeing that impact in our day to day, um, but especially when the ban goes into effect over the next couple of weeks and you really start to see people be moved along because make no mistake, there's nowhere for those folks to go. CTH also feels that programs offered by county lawmakers are focused on housing first services, which includes building more affordable housing and getting homeless people into shelters. They believe wraparound services and addressing issues on the ground like they're currently doing has helped save lives. Emergency bags, the medical supplies, all of that is extremely costly, yet it's needed. Just recently, CTH started a cool zone in the parking lot next to their office, another resource to help with the need of cooling centers during summer temperatures. Regina Urita, CBS 8.